Hello Toronto, I'm Chris Kukoc from Royal Pig Signature and this is your Toronto Market Update for July 2018. Hey guys, welcome back to By The Numbers. I'm your host, Chris Kuka. On my channel, we do things like updates what's going on in the community, tips and tricks on how to buy and sell real estate, and market update reports just like this one. So if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Today I'm coming to you from Eagle Lake here in Tishborn, Ontario. I'm here visiting some family, but wanted to make sure I get the information out to you that you need to make good buying and selling decisions. While I've been here, I've hung out by the lake, enjoyed some of mom's home cooking, and got to play a couple of rounds of golf with my dad. Now wait for it. Oh yeah, that sounds real good. First things first, it's way too nice here to be wearing this suit, so let's see if we can do something about that. That's a little better. Now let's get into those numbers. I'll just go ahead and put my screen up there so you can follow along with me. In the month of June, the average price in the Toronto Real Estate Board was about $808,000, and we've got about 2.6 months of inventory, which is right around where we'd like to be for this time of year. Remember, those are general numbers encompassing the entire GTA. Let's get into those Toronto specific numbers right away. In the month of June, we had about 3,100 sales in the 416 with an average sale price of about 871,000. We've got about 1.9 months of inventory and the average home is on the market for around 19 days. If you look at the year to date comparisons, we got pretty much the same thing in June that we got in May of this year. The numbers were pretty much all flat with the exception of the average price, which went up about 9,000. Something important to note is the average sale price in Toronto has gone up fairly sharply this year. It's actually up almost 17% from December of last year. Now let's take a look at those micro markets. The average cost of a detached home in the city of Toronto in the month of June was about $1.3 million. The number of sales are up almost 6% and we've got about 2.6 months of inventory. The average price of a semi in the 416 was just shy of a million dollars, which is up about a percent and a half from last year. Sales of semis are up over 8% and we've got only 1.6 months of inventory. The average price of a townhouse in the city of Toronto was $737,000, which is up about 5.5% from last year. The number of sales are up about 5% and we've got 1.7 months of inventory. And the average price of a condo apartment in Toronto is $605,000, which is up almost 10% from last year. The number of sales are actually down this month about 6%, and we've got only 1.6 months of inventory. What we're seeing right now is essentially an extension of our traditional spring market. Generally speaking, April, May, and June are our busiest months, and significantly so. We do almost 70% of our business during only those three months. This year though, I don't know if you remember how cold it was, but April was absolutely freezing, it was snowing, nobody was coming to look at houses. So what we're seeing is some of those sales that would have happened in April have been pushed forward, and I think we're gonna see another pretty good month of sales in the month of July. And one more thing I want to talk about, I'm going to be offering a new service that's absolutely free and no obligation. I'm going to be offering an online home evaluation for your home. All you have to do is enter your information, it'll be done by a real person, not an algorithm, and it'll get back to you within 24 hours. The nuts and bolts are still getting put together, but keep an eye on the channel for more details on how to get yours. That's all for today. If you like this video, click that like button, let me know in the comments, and don't forget to share it with a friend that might find this useful. Thanks for watching By The Numbers, and we'll see you next time.